Alright, hey guys. Um, okay, today I'm going to be doing a tasting of the Devil's Peak Pale Ale. Alright. You know, this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if it's uh, going to focus nicely for you, but that's what it looks like. That looks fantastic. Ah, fantastic. So you can see how it's poured. It's a little hazy, mostly clear though. Nice uh, sort of head with thick bubbles. It looks great. Let me give it a smell. Okay, I'm getting like a citrus, um, very citrus, uh, piney, grapefruit. Okay, let's just go over what the style is. The style is supposed to be um, a little hop forward, um, but with a nice multi backbone. This color is about right. It can go a little darker than this. As you can see, this is very light straw colored. It can go darker than that. You're often going to get the American hops, and um, often they're going to be those citrusy hops that you tend to get, like um, Cascade. All right, well, let's get in right, right in there and start tasting it. Mmm, that's delicious. I really like that. It's got a nice mouthfeel for this kind of style, which is good. Um, the malt sort of does take a little bit of a back seat, so within the style guide, definitely. It's actually got quite a lot of hops, but it's not as bitter as I really like. Um, but then again, it's obviously a, a choice, like a style thing that they've gone for. Um, on the bottle it says 4% alcohol, but I was on their website earlier and it said 3%. I'm not sure which is right. It's got a nice sort of look to it if you look here. Not too much lacing, but it kind of sticks, it hangs together quite nicely. And uh, so what I imagine, and, and I got this from the website definitely, is that this is supposed to be a session. And I would agree with that 100%. I just want to give it a couple more tastes here. Mm. There's a slight bready toastiness sort of aftertaste that I'm getting, which is really nice. Um, but again, it's not overpowering. It's got a good mouthfeel, but still it goes down like water. You can really just drink a lot of it. So I'd agree that this is a great session now. I haven't really developed a proper system of how I'm going to rate these. But what I would give it out of five, uh, I'd easily give this a three and a half, no doubt. Maybe even a four because it achieves what it's supposed to achieve and it's got a great flavor. The brewers obviously did a great job in researching and getting the right, um, you know, the right profile together. Mm, this is fantastic. In fact, I'm going to finish whatever there is in the bottle there. There we go. Look at that. And I'm going to go enjoy this out of my balcony and uh, really enjoy it. So, as I say, I'd give this an easy three and a half, maybe a four. Uh, go out and get yourself a bottle of this. It's a good beer. And if, if you've got some friends that are into craft that haven't quite made the transition yet, this might be a good one to get them started. Right, so I'm going to go enjoy this.